way back in the halcyon days of 2016 as a fledgling YouTube channel with maybe 20,000 subscribers, Ben and I made a video called Who is Gears and Gasoline, which for obvious grooming related reasons is now basically unwatchable. Also, our channel and lives have come a decent ways in four years, and I'm in a weird interim of having lots of content that I can't release yet for continuity purposes, so here we are. Who is Gears and Gasoline, part two, 2020 edition, the sequel. So, Gears and Gasoline, obviously we make automotive YouTube content, sometimes for clients, sometimes we just want to make a video about something, oftentimes both. The first time we made this video, which I have forced myself to rewatch, we said that our goal was to make high quality car content and keep improving our production value. In four years since that video, I'm happy to report that our videos are, by every metric, better. If you aren't super familiar with the behind the scenes of the channel and have just watched our grid life coverage or occasional car features, Gears and Gasoline is run by two guys both named Ben. The one who's talking right now is this one, Asian Ben, me, the Gears in Gears and Gasoline. Or maybe I'm the Gasoline, it hasn't been determined. And this is the other Ben, Build Ben, if you will, or maybe K-Swap Ben. Here you can see him giving birth to a K-Series. You may have seen his K-Swap Civic content, or more recently his K-Swap RX-7 content. He makes the kind of videos that automotive YouTube wants. Ben and I both share filming and editing duties, usually alternating video releases on a weekly basis. So for example, I'll film and edit the Lexus ISF detailing video with Automotive Aesthetic, put that on the channel, while Ben is simultaneously editing episode 3 of the Civic K-Swap series, which comes out the following weekend. Then the following weekend after that, Evo Build episode 1 comes out, and etc, etc, etc. Or in the case of content that we're just trying to release in an unbroken series for the sake of viewership and narrative momentum, like our recent Tesla vs. Evo road trip, one of us might spend several weeks in a month exclusively editing, while the other person handles weekly releases, essentially covering for the other person until the series can release for several successive weekends. Ben, are you okay? I'm just now realizing how enjoyable it is for me to talk about all this behind the scenes stuff. You guys might be bored, but I'm having a great time. Let's talk gear and software. We're still shooting on DSLRs and it's an entirely Panasonic setup. We basically started filming on Panasonic GH4s back in 2016 and have since moved to GH5s and Panasonic S1s. These cameras with Canon EF lenses primarily give us great versatility for the running gun off the cuff shooting style that we primarily employ while still delivering an acceptable level of video quality and options in editing. We use a mixture of way too expensive Manfrotto tripods and even more ridiculously overpriced three-point motorized gimbals. Also, my Movi Pro is for sale, so any of you filmmakers out there, please buy it. Our car-mounted action shots are primarily GoPro, and we use GoPro-specific ND filters to control shutter speed and get more visually aesthetic shots. This is all dreadfully boring, so we're about to wrap this segment up. For editing purposes, Ben and I edit on MacBook Pros because Pro is short for professional. Software-wise, we edit on Adobe Premiere Pro, again, Pro, because we are masochists and enjoy watching our projects crash. We also have the rest of the Adobe suite, but we don't know how to use any of it. Luke, our new hire, uses Final Cut, but we're forcing him to learn Premiere. Wait, what? Luke, new hire? Yes, we now have an employee. Ben and I decided that we probably needed some help uh, kind of with how we were getting more work going forward, so uh, we decided to bring somebody on full-time, uh, 40 hours a week, so we looked, and believe it or not, the best person we could find was Luke. I can't believe it either. This is my 2014 Honda Pilot. It's actually not mine, it's my mom's. My dream car is actually the one that I'm building right now currently. It's a S13 Coupe. I've wanted them since, uh, I was probably like 16, 17 years old, but I never thought I could own one because of the drift tax. One of my friends gave me a pretty good deal on his car. It was a KA car, and so I brought it home and immediately did the thing that all 240 owners do, which is remove the engine and then just let it sit for a couple months. That's what it's doing right now. It's in the sitting for a couple months kind of phase right now. 
We're gonna hopefully put the KA back in, make it a solid street car. Should be all ready to uh, rip at the local track. So S13 drift car is my dream car and thankfully I own it right now. It's just not done. Luke's youthful 20 year old energy is pretty incredible to have around. He's got a really healthy passion for video that gets Ben and I both excited for production all over again. He's genuinely an extremely talented videographer and editor, particularly when it comes to capturing shots, much more so than Ben and I were at his age. Some 240 content might eventually make its way onto the channel, but Luke is realistic enough to know that budget 240 drift builds are um, a saturated market on YouTube. Speaking of cars that we own, K-Swap Ben. His roster of vehicles includes a K-Swap FDRX7 project, a K-Swap EK Civic, a Turbo Ford ZX2 that was the subject of literally the first video we ever filmed together. Hi, my name is Ben Thorne. I drive a 1998 Ford Escort ZX2. And his Ford F-150 workhorse, which tows our cars to events typically. My vehicle lineup has undergone a couple of changes that I'm still not able to talk about for continuity's sake, but Suffice to say that I started the year uh, with my 350Z, which I bought to get some seat time at the track with, my Nissan Hardbody, which I used to run errands and look like an Asian redneck in, and Lana the Lancer, my Evo 9, which we filmed a build series for earlier this year. I also picked up a 2019 Corolla hatchback this year, which was supposed to be used by my mom for commuting and myself for work travel, but certain global events have transpired this year which would make it irresponsible to share a vehicle with my mother so enjoy the corolla mom another new addition to our lineup is a building that we recently acquired well as you can see we are in our uh, new space here it's very lavish and very lush uh with all sorts of luxuries uh, no it's it's very clearly gutted we're in the process of doing some renovations so there's no flooring basically no walls lots of cobwebs everywhere um it's going to take a while to actually get this place up to spec, but uh, we'll get it there. Um, we've been here for, at least I've been sitting at this little desk for like three days. It's just nice to have somewhere else to go other than editing at my house. We spend most of our time when we aren't filming, editing, editing at work, at home, at coffee shops, it's nonstop. Editing is the real behind the scenes, extremely boring part of the job. So that's what we do for work. But what do we do besides film, edit, and work on our cars? It's my skateboard. I like it. I can't do many tricks. I can't do much, but um, I enjoy meeting people, having fun at the park. You know, it's all about having fun. It's not about, you know, being the best at it. I just like having fun stuff. So. Uh, right now I'm planning for my wedding, which is happening in a month from now. So that's pretty exciting. Other than that, I have a dog. We've named him Lugnut because he's a lug nut. Uh, he's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and he has more energy than anything I know. This is lug nut. Say hi lug nut. Say hi lug nut. <laughs> yeah, so I have this uh, driving rig and I like to sometimes pretend that I sim race. Uh, play a lot of Assetto Corsa, some eye racing. Um, I'm not good at it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty bad at it. Just like I'm bad at driving in real life. Turns out we're all in varying degrees interested in some other things apart from cars, but having other interests lets us recharge our energy for creating more car content, which, especially with the addition of Luke, we're doing more and more of these days. I don't have anything else to talk about and you guys have for sure stopped watching, so this is the end of the video. More RX7 content coming next weekend.